Ministry of Defense seeks £3.2 billion as costs overrun in Yemen and Ukraine due to additional expenses. Grant Shapps tells MPs his department's spending exceeded its allocation in last year's budget in light of unstable regional and global situation. The Ministry of Defense has said it intends to seek an emergency cash payment of £3.2 billion because operational costs overran after military operations against Houthis in Yemen and the Red Sea since mid-January 2024. In just over six weeks, alongside Britain's continued support of Ukraine, which already had provision in the budget, parliamentary approval for additional resources of £2.45 billion and £750 million of capital will be sought in a supplementary estimate. For the Ministry of Defense, Schapp said, the £3.2 billion would be taken immediately from backup funds until the emergency payment was received which is likely to take some time. Whitehall officials said the cash advance was required because of the increased operational spending, reflecting the increasingly uncertain international picture and that it was a routine request unrelated to any overspending. Obviously the war in Yemen and Red Sea operations are responsible for this escalation. Extra money was also needed for people who helped the British military and their families under the Afghan relocations and assistance policy Arab, though it was already accounted for at the time of budget, they added. Labour said the Conservatives were failing to secure Britain's defences. For the future, John Healy, the shadow defense secretary, said ministers were requesting emergency support just to keep their plans off. Lot, after a long period of cuts in office, certainly disturbed over the increasing demand for money to meet the expenses of war. A Ministry of Defense spokesperson said the advances will enable us to continue to deliver our vital operations, including activities in support of Ukraine and security in the Red Sea and the Arab scheme till the supplementary estimates are voted on. Although Ukraine and Afghanistan costs were considered before, the only new expenses were for the just over six weeks operation in Red Sea against Yemeni Houthis since mid-January. It comes days before Wednesday's budget, with growing pressure in some conservative circles for a long-term increase in defense. Spending of £13.5 billion to £27 billion more a year, in view of the ongoing nature of war expenses in Red Sea, which does not seem coming to a halt in near future, at the expense of welfare or other spending. The former Defense Secretary Ben Wallace this week called on the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, to lift defense budgets from the current 2% of gross domestic product almost immediately. We will need 3% of GDP to do what we need to do and to lead in NATO and in Europe, he wrote in the Telegraph, saying, war is coming, the war is imminent. Hunt has ruled out an increase in defense spending. He has argued privately that the Ministry of Defense previously had an £11 billion budget increase and that the public finances were too tight to make any further commitments. The financial strings may be very tight but defense requirements are always at the top priority.